This summer's big movies feature the usual. Robots destroying the world. Right. Aliens destroying the world. Don't have them. Apes <laughs> destroying the world. <laughs> but Connor Knight says that a real world blockbuster event is stepping on Hollywood's big plans. Connor, what's the deal? Tom Cruise's Edge of Tomorrow hits theaters today all across the country. In the movie, Cruise keeps waking up again and again, reliving the same day. Today is premiere day, but this is a day that's happened before. Last Friday, Day of Tomorrow premiered in several countries around the world. Brazil, Argentina, the UK, Germany, Spain, they all got to see Tom Cruise before we do. What do they have in common? They all love soccer. The World Cup kicks off on June 12th. 32 countries will be competing in the tournament. And for a Hollywood blockbuster, that's a lot to compete with. Warner Brothers decided to open Edge of Tomorrow early in certain football-friendly countries to give the film some breathing room before the kickoff kicks off. The World Cup finishes July 13th, smack dab in the middle of summer blockbuster season. With international grosses accounting for an increasing amount of a film's total profits, studios have had to be pretty strategic with their schedules. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes opens in the U.S. on July 11th, two days before the World Cup final. In most other countries around the world, it's not gonna come out until at least a week later. No one in the Netherlands is gonna watch apes terrorize San Francisco if there is a football match in Rio. Transformers opens here on June 27th, but it doesn't hit Brazil until almost three weeks later, long after the tournament is done. Studios used to open movies around the world months apart, but today the threat of piracy typically keeps openings clustered pretty closely together. Apparently, soccer is just as powerful of a threat. Studios seem less worried about its impact on the US box office. I mean, come on, you really think we're gonna give up watching Mack trucks that can turn into fighting friggin' robots in favor of a bunch of guys who can't even tackle each other and play zero to zero matches? I do not think so. But these big Hollywood movies do need international ticket buyers. Blockbusters and FIFA have got one thing in common. They are both worldwide competitions.